everyone. It is Nero here at Dapp Center, the channel where you can find the best crypto projects and the best dApps where you can earn a passive income and learn about all the other things you could do with your precious little cryptocurrencies. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Now let's get to it, shall we? All right, all right I am now on BC.game. This is BC.game is probably one of the hottest crypto projects in when it comes to casinos out there right now. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some strategies that you could use playing certain games such as dice. Uh, we'll also go into multiple games like blackjack and etc. And I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna be turning 200 USDT. I'm gonna try, this is the challenge, okay? I'm gonna to try to turn 200 USDT into 1,000 USDT in this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn the not notifications on so that way you are up to date on all of our videos. And of course, be sure to use that link down in the description. If you have not signed up for bc.game, you better sign up right now because they are going to be having some big bonuses that are going on and they have a really good affiliate program as well. Commission ready every day, $100, just a referral away. All right, let's get to it, shall we? So we got multiple games you can choose from. You got Crash, you got Backrat, you got Kino Singo, you got Classic Dice, you got Limbo, Kino, Save Your Sword, Cave of Plunder, Oriental Beauties, I'm not really sure what that is, Hash Dice, I'm gonna actually might have to try that out, Blackjack, Roulette, Plinko, Video Poker, Wheel, and High Low. This here breaks it down the biggest winners today. So somebody won 0.12 BTC today, just today. That's like Bitcoin's at forty thousand dollars. That's over almost five thousand dollars. This person won. Incredible, folks. And what's really great about BC game is you can play with any cryptocurrency that you want. You got BTC, you got Sats, you got ETH, you got XRP, you got Doge. Dogecoin, oh yeah, Doge, the meme coin. You got USDT, you got LTC, you got XLM, TRX, BCH, Link, DOT, EOS, DAI, USDC, XMR, UNI, yeah, the Uniswap coin, BSV, ABC, VSYS, Sushi, AAVE, WBTC, SNX, YFI, AMPL, MANA, BAT, ENJ, EURS, VNDC, NBX, TRTL, and last but not least, you got JB. All right, guys, I'm going to be showing here in this video 200. I'm going to be starting off with 200 USDT. I'm going to try to turn it into 1,000 USDT in this video. Do you guys think I could do it? Be sure to leave a comment in the section below. Let's get to it here, shall we? All right, so I'm really curious to see what the difference between classic dice and hash dice is. Let's take a look at what hash dice is. Let's take a look. Ooh, good luck to you. So what's really cool here at BC Game is they actually have a, I mean, not only do they have multiple games, but they have actually have daily bonuses. You have a role competition. Best, best players can get the opportunity to be rewarded based on the top 10 role points set to uh, JB players. They also wear his Coco. Click on the treasure that Coco carried to get rewards. And they also have lucky spin. Here you can actually get a chance. Looks like I already spin, but you actually get a chance to spin like every 24 hours. You actually have a daily chance of winning. You can see here, these are amount of coins that you actually win. See, 25 USDT, you actually have a chance of winning, or 0.02 ETH. Oh yeah, guys, check it out. Like I said, be, used, be sure to use that referral link down in the description box. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play some dice. So what is hash dice? We're gonna try to figure this out here. So here you could, choose to what your bet amount's gonna be. It looks like the minimal 
minimum bed amount is 0.0001 USDT and you choose between high or low. Now, you could use the Martingale strategy where you do a payout of two, which your chance is 49.5%, which so there's a half percent chance of the house edge, or in other words, a 1% house edge. This actually shows all the bets that are going on on the platform right now. So you can see it's very active, a lot of bets going on. You can go to my bets. So you can set up here where you can have your max bet on or off. I don't know if turbo bets available for this or not and then you got live stats we're gonna go ahead and put the live stats on here and we're gonna go ahead and roll here so I'm gonna do payout we're gonna roll you can either roll under 49,500 or roll over 50,499 we're gonna do high we're gonna roll over and they also have a, a manual and auto fit auto bet feature so if you choose auto bet this is actually a strategy that I've been using on Martingale is you do you know 100% increase on loss on a win it's gonna reset you can choose the number of bets you want and you could do a stop on a win and stop on a loss I'm definitely gonna do a stop on a loss we're gonna do like two dollars okay if you head on over to our website you go to dapcenter.net you'll be able to see where we have our live stream countdown where you'll be able to find out when our next live stream is gonna be which is a lot of fun but if you click on daps here Click on DAPS. It's going to take us to our other website, the dapscenter.com. Here we'll show a list of DAPS and games that you can play. But if you scroll down here to the very bottom, I'll wait for this to load here. But if you click on this, this provably fair icon, it's provably fair.altervista.org. It is an actual calculator. And I am going to show you how you could utilize this calculator to your advantage. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my base bet here, which is going to be 0 0.0001 USD. I'm going to set it here. My balance is 200. And we're going to do an increase of 100%. And the bet payout is going to be 2. We're going to hit calculate. And what this is actually going to break down my bet amount balance and loss if I balance if I lose and the balance if I win and my losing streak odds so obviously my chance of losing the first bet is gonna be 50.5% but as I continue to roll and if I continue to lose in a row the odds of me losing become less and less in fact I the chance of me losing 10 in a row turns into 0.10% and with my current balance, I have the opportunity to lose 20 times in a row, which is 0.0001%. That's like almost the chance of winning the lottery. So the odds of me losing that much in a row become less and less. And using this Martingale strategy, you can actually make a profit because you're not only going to recover every loss that you made by doubling your bet, but you're basically going to also be in profit whatever your base bet amount was. So here we go here, we're gonna give this a try here. I'm gonna start off with 0.001 USD as my base bet using the hash dice. Here we go. All right, hit start, auto bet. I have my set stop on a loss of two USDT. So you can see here, here is my profit and you see we're losing and then boom covered so this here shows my wagered amount and this shows my profit mine after every loss i am doubling my bet on a hundred percent and the odds of me busting or hit losing 20 in a row is 0.0001 percent now keep in mind not guys that just because this strategy is working for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you full transparency here if you the longer you play the longer you're going to play the better your odds of losing. I think you see here, you know, for a short period of time, I lost, I don't know, look at 10 in a row, not even. But here I lost even more in a row. So the longer I play, the chances of me losing more in a row become greater and greater. And when you're doubling your bet after every loss, that could turn into a significant number. So this 
strategy only works if you have an unlimited amount of bankroll, which nobody obviously has, but in theory, if you are able to cover, it's like flipping in a coin, no, heads or tails. You flip a coin, the chance of it, you, you know, flipping it, if you're betting that it's gonna flip on heads and it rolls tails, the chances of it continue to roll on tails come less and less. Rough. But the longer you do it, the longer your session is, the greater your odds of losing more in a row. So just keep that. When I use these strategies, I usually only use them for short periods of time. And then I usually will change up my strategies. Here you can see, you know, I went on a huge losing streak, but I recovered and I'm seeing a steady incline of profit here. It's always good sometimes too, you can actually use the seed here, you can actually change your seed. And the seed is basically using this function to set up a new server client seed and a new client seed which can be randomly generated or customized, at least for 10 characters and bets numbers will reset to zero. So sometimes it's okay, it's good to reset your seeds. You know, some people believe that's the key to to having the algorithm as random as possible, so to speak. So your odds of winning become greater, greater as long as you keep resetting your seeds. Me, I, I don't really believe that because I think that you're just reset. Like, if you were on a losing streak, let's say you lost ten in a row, and you reset your seeds, you're actually just resetting that whole session and you can lose 10 in a row again within in the next you know 10 in a row but by not resetting your seeds I feel like you're you're actually increasing your chances of winning I don't know some people say it works changing your seeds often is always always works for them I'm not a huge believer on that but guys let me know in your comment section I want to know your strategies what do you guys think do you think Resetting your seeds is beneficial or not. I'm really curious to know, so please leave a comment. And also, if you have any other betting strategies that you're aware of that is working for you, please also let me know as well. So you can see I made so far one penny. So I, I actually could just walk away from this right now. Just walk away, here we go. I'm just gonna walk away. We'll check back here in a few minutes. All right, all right, looks like I came back here just after about 10 minutes rolling. I'm now up to 17 cents just by using this strategy. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna try to do now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop while I'm ahead. Remember guys, I have to lose a significant amount of times in a row for me to bust. Boom, I just hit again. Now I'm up to 61 cents. My profit is just getting eaten up alive. Oh my gosh, here we go, come on. I need a big payout here, let's do this. Come on! I am now in the negatives. Oh my goodness. I need a big hit here, come on, come on! I am, come on, I need a big hit, big hit, let's go, come on, come on! So what I'm going to do now, I'm at $195, I'm going to try a different game here. We're gonna do the classic dice, and we are going to do the Martingale strategy here. And I'm going to try and recover. And basically what I'm doing is after every loss, I'm doubling up. Boom, hit. And after I win a few, I'm now gonna to switch to roll over. Boom. I'm using like the Fibonacci sequence here. Boom! I'm now up to $196, $199. Now I'm up to $201. Boom! So guys, be sure to check it out. Be sure to use that referral link down in the description. I'm about to make it rain in the channel group here, right here. You can actually chew the channel here. I'm gonna make it rain to 50 people, uh, we're gonna do a minimum is two, so we're gonna do two. Follow us at Dap Center. Boom! 
So I just made it rain. Two USDT. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh yeah. Boom! Boom! Oh yeah, I'm now up to $202. So I obviously am very unsuccessful at completing my challenge of turning 200 USDT into 1,000 USDT, but guys, I am not giving up yet. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna have more videos coming up after this, so be sure to subscribe, turn on the notification icon, and stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna be showing you some more betting strategies coming up, uh, also some more gameplay. It's not gonna just be dice, it's also gonna be some playing some other games as well. So stay tuned for more. It is Nero here at DAF Center saying so long and enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.